there are certainly some do's and don'ts that we should adhere to at a poker table. If we happen to break one of these, we should sincerely apologise to our fellow players. If on the other hand though, one of the other players happens to break one of these rules, have no problem calling over a manager and saying, look, I'm not happy with this situation. You've got your money at a poker table and you have every right to make sure that the rules of the game are followed. Don't talk about the hand in progress. If you are not involved in a hand, simply don't talk or distract any player. This also includes body language. It is okay to talk and have a conversation, but not about the hand in progress. Act in turn. If you are throwing out your cards, wait until it is your turn. If you act out of turn, you will give other players information that they shouldn't have. Don't slow roll anyone. Once the hand is over, turn your cards over in turn. Slow rolling is when someone turns over their cards and pretends that they are behind when actually they are in front. Basically, unpleasant people do this to rub it in the face of their opponents. This is the height of rudeness at a poker table. Back in the good old days of poker, this would have got you into real trouble probably out in the car park. Show some decorum when you have the winning hand. A mature poker player will turn over their cards and take the money graciously. Do not disrupt the game. If you are drunk or spilling drinks over the person next to you, you are disrupting the game. If you are screaming to your friend while an opponent is in the middle of a hand, you are disrupting the table. If you are constantly holding up the game because you are listening to your iPod or you're on your mobile phone, you are disrupting the game. Use your common sense. Do things on a poker table that helps the game run along smoothly and quickly because that's what you'll want in the long run. Do not abuse the dealer. The dealer has no influence on the outcome of a game. If the cards do not fall your way, it is not the dealer's fault. Please treat them with respect for they are simply only doing their job. Leave any ill feeling at the table. What happens on the poker table stays on the poker table. If it happens that you have had a disagreement with one of your opponents, at the end of the game, make an effort to show your opponent that the game is over and the ill feelings are forgotten. It's just like playing football. When the whistle is blown, you need to relax and reflect on the game, not direct any ill feelings towards an individual.